nigga like me, man, I love the game. I love the hustle, man. I be feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, you know? Like Bird, Magic, or something. Yeah, you know, a nigga got dope. A nigga could leave the league. But if I leave, the fans still gonna love me, man? What's good, y'all? Just for Kicks 2 and 2, and I'm here with an outside sneaker review. Pretty much just keep it short and simple. I want to give a few shout outs. Shout out to, uh, again, ZayaX0712. Go check out his channel. Uh, shout out to That Shoe Girl Katie. Check out her channel. On Instagram, I posted like right here. This is what Zaya does. But um, um, his Instagram name is uh, Satan Lives. He has this whole brand that he's coming out with called UO. And I, I kind of think it's funny. I like all the stickers and all the shit. He always sends me stickers all the time. Um, he got a beanie coming out, um, I think this month. And um, some other cool stuff he's dropping. Oh, also another big shout out to Gen Twice. There's about to be a dunk exchange this month. So check it out. I'll post a flyer right here. This is the Miami flyer. I will be down there. They're having at the Marlem Stadium. And uh, here's the other one for the Orlando show. This is DXC Orlando, guys. So all of you guys who are in the Orlando area, check it out. One more big shout out I want to give out to is Damn Erica, my little sister. Um, she's doing a thing on YouTube. Go check her out. Um, Damn Erica. Damn is with two N's. Um, if you don't know her by now, you should. Also, I want to give another big, big shout out to Rasta Clot. Um, if you don't know what Rasta Clot is, it is what I'm wearing on my wrist. I will be doing something very soon with them. Doing a giveaway. Um, I actually reached out. They reached back and said pretty much they green lighted me. So um, check them out. Rasta Clot is their Instagram, their Twitter. I got a bunch of dope um, bracelets. I got a few of them, and that's pretty much it. So pretty much, let's get into the sneaker review. Today, we will be reviewing the Nike Shock BB4. This is a HOH exclusive, so here you guys go. And pretty much, here is the shoe. You guys know me by now. I like anything Vince Carter, anything that he's worn, or anything in that situation. So if you remember this shoe, before we actually get into anything, this is the shoe that he wore in the Olympics in 2000. He actually jumped over the uh, the dude from France, I believe it was. Um, they actually referred to it as the dunk of death. Bonato gets up with a sloppy pass. Carter inside. Oh! 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 <laughs> Woo! And the crash because the overwhelming favorite, but they love when this stuff happens. That's why I said now a smile and the energy and the crowd eat out of palm of your hand. I mean, they just want to love Vince Carter here. This guy has so much talent. Just look at this spectacular takeoff. He jumped over his head. I mean, Frederick Weiss, you gotta know, man, a guy's coming to do that. You gotta take a bow. <laughs> That's like something Watch that this. was set up in a slam dunk contest. Look at this. He scissored over his head. It's almost like, where did he go? My goodness gracious. Vince Carter, slam dunk champ. And more importantly that, a guy who now is becoming a great all-round player. A great steal. Wow. <laughs> um, to me, that is like one of the most craziest, craziest dunks of all time. Him jumping over another another person that's like seven foot and some change so let me give you a little history on the bb4 vince carter when he first came into the league he was signed with puma um he didn't like his puma shoe very much so pretty much he stopped wearing them all together and he just started wearing like anything he can get his hands on you probably remember him winning the dunk contest in the n1 tai chi a lot of companies were just sending him shoes just to check out nike actually sent them the prototype of the bb4 um, to wear for the Olympics, um, try out pretty much, and to make the long story short, he loved it, so he decided to sign with Nike, even though it wasn't like a, he could just sign over since he was signed with Puma, Nike paid out his contract in, at Puma and pretty much signed him over to Nike. And he's done so many iconic things with shots on his feet, and pretty much he is the poster child of the Nike shot. He's the one who debuted the technology, and jumped over another human being in these so if you know me i'd start at the bottom we'll start at signature detailing and we'll go on to performance benefits of the shoe after start at the outsole you see the four circular traction pods it's pretty much showing you the shocks you actually see the five dot system on the on the lateral side of the shoe which is for the alpha project shoes an alpha project we're actually uh 
shoes they consider to be more advanced and more tech, have more technology in them and stuff like that. More better performing shoes. Uh, other than that, you have a Nike swoosh right here. And that's it for signature detailing in the outsole. So starting at the midsole, obviously you don't see a midsole, but there is one. What they're doing here is called double lasting. Obviously that's a technical thing, so I'll get into it after. There isn't any uh, specific signature detailing on the midsole. So jumping on to the upper, again, on the lateral side, on the mid panel, you see the five dots again for the Alpha Project. Um, towards the heel, you see the Nike swoosh. Also, again, in the heel, you see five lines. Some people refer to it as the Alpha Project. There's a lot of different things, but obviously the Alpha Project was dots, not lines. But again, you see the lines. Again, on the toe box, you see the five dots and the five lines. Again, Alpha Project. And on the tongue, you actually see the shock logo. Also, you have the five lines again on the tongue. And that's pretty much it for signature detailing on the upper. Even though VC wore this, this wasn't his signature shoe. He's just known for wearing these. Um, he is the face behind the BB4 in my opinion. Going on to the insole, I'll actually take it out for you guys. Insole says Nike Shock on it and has the logo and that's pretty much it. So getting into the technical side of the BB4, um, I actually again have the USA version um, and I also had the OG, I believe this is the Duke version, I, I might be wrong, I'm not sure with the colorway but I think it's the Duke version. I, again, I might be bugging, but the black and royal blue colorway. Um, I actually took this pair apart um, just so I can show you guys the technical benefits. Starting at the outsole, you have in the forefoot area, you have herringbone traction, obviously for multi-directional uh, traction on the medial side, an actual textured pattern, um, obviously for when you push off on the court when you're driving. And then on the lateral side, you have on the outrigger, uh, the Alpha Project logo. Um, it's a smooth surface. Going on to the heel, you have the same pattern that you have on the medial side of the foot. Obviously, it's to keep the foot in place. Um, the pattern is actually made for side-to-side -side motions in the heel and traction when stopping on court. Then you have the circular pivot points on each shot column. That's pretty much it for technical benefits on the outsole. Going on to the heel, you have the shock technology. Obviously, if you watch my tech closet before, you know that there's moderator plates in the shock technology. So this is the rubber outsole right underneath. And then you have the urethane foam here with the shock technology in it. I'll show you a picture of the columns. They're sculpted in a round shape to provide maximum energy return. And if you see on the outside of the medial and lateral side, they actually cut up to provide more support. On the bottom of the urethane foam, you actually see the moderator plate, the TPU piece. This is what your shot goes through. It goes through the urethane foam and up to the top moderator plate, which performs as an outrigger as well. So again, you have the bottom moderator plate. It has a transition wedge right here. and the top moderator plate. So in between the actual columns, as you can see, it's called an exposed phase, obviously because there's no midsole there. Also, the top moderator plate acts as a TPU shank in the midfoot, as you can see. So that prevents uh, torsional rigidity, so you don't twist and turn too much, you know what I mean, the shoe, you don't torque the shoe out. And again, if you wanna know how the shock technology works, um, go look back at my shock tech closet. All right, y'all, I'm losing light quick, so I'm gonna do this really, really quick. I'm moving on to the midsole. Obviously, you can't see the midsole, it's double-lasted. What double-lasting means is pretty much the upper covers the midsole. Um, what this does is it provides a better fit, um, and it snugs your foot into the footbed. But you can see the Phylon midsole underneath, um, and then on the right shoe, I actually took the upper off. Um, just so you know, there is a sleeve inside, so I can see. The flip stops. But I'm not a seamstress guy, so um, only thing I couldn't unstitch the upper from the sleeve at all. It is a phylon midsole. In the heel, there's almost no phylon. It's very, very thin, like you're standing on the floor. And as you go along towards the forefoot, the actual phylon gets a lot thicker and a lot, a lot fuller. And the reason being is because the forefoot area has its zoom unit in it. 
Um, obviously you can't see it, but it's top loaded. That's the only reason why I couldn't take it out because obviously I can't unstitch this. That's the reason why the midsole looks a lot thicker in the forefoot and in the heel, it's a lot thinner. Obviously you're on a shock unit in the heel, so you're already raised off the floor. So the thinner they make the midsole, the closer your foot will be to the floor again. And again, you'll feel the shock unit a lot more. It'll be a lot more responsive. Going along the upper, the upper is a synthetic leather. Um, it's polyurethane coated for durability and then you have the molded synthetic leather as well. On the medial side of the shoe it's actually internal. It's monkey paw technology. So pretty much if you guys don't know what monkey paw technology is I'll read off a little bit that I have on it. Uh, monkey paw is a Nike design incorporating plastic outriggers molded to the upper. Um, pretty much it's to prevent your ankle from rolling inward and also outward. Pretty much I have the exact patent description. I'll post it right here so you can guys can read it and hopefully you'll learn something. I'll give it a few seconds so you guys can actually read it. If you want, go ahead and pause the video or do whatever you need to do. Just, yeah. It is a patented technology by Nike that they don't use anymore. Um, so the reason why I bring this up is because the Retro BB4 does not have mon monkey paw in it. Um, a lot of people wondered why, but Nike just doesn't use monkey paw technology anymore. On the upper, in the actual heel, you have another internal heel counter. So along with this top moderator plate acting as a external heel counter, actually has an internal TPU heel counter as well. It's, it's not that big, but um, pause, pause, pause. Um, it's not that big, but it's actually there to reinforce the heel support. Then going on to the lacing, you actually have a speed lacing system. I'll actually show you with this version. As you can see, the speed lacing system. Going on to the tongue, the tongue is all leather. It's like a, it looks like a leather mesh, but it's really not. It's like perforated leather, obviously, so the foot can breathe with a padded foam inside. Um, and you have a leather, a synthetic leather tongue as well, all the way at the top. Um, it feels like rubber. And obviously, you got foam for the ankle area to provide a better fit. You have little lobes in the heel to, pro to provide a better fit again. Um, and then the insole, oh, which is surprisingly crazy, but because back then they used to use polyurethane insole. That's one thing they have in common with the Retro and the OG. They're both using Ava insoles. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm not sure exactly. I'm just trying to do this quickly because I'm running out of sunlight, as you guys can tell. That's pretty much it for the BB4. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment box. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, give me some feedback. I don't know, but that's pretty much it. I'll holler at y'all next video. People can't even dribble on the glove. Now they talking about trying to dunk on me. They crazy. Looky here. I got an afro now, but I'm going to have a super afro now. Look at this right here. Come on down with it now. Yeah, baby artist Gil, boy. These all good. Let me get my pig face, B. You understand, B? Huh. What? Who, who can do this? Oh, my goodness. The glove do it. Get my ball back. Well, then take your ball in. Yeah, the glove. Did you see it? Me, mostly me. It's my dope thing. The glove. Hey, hey, hold on, man. You ain't gonna be disrespecting me like that. When well, I ain't looking, huh? Oh, boy, that's something else.